Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Shanika and this is day eight in our Spring Into Movement series, a series designed to ignite your energy for spring, keep you moving, keep you flexible, and just have you feeling good for the spring season. The practice today is a seated flow. This is a full body practice and despite it being a full body practice, we focus mostly on our side body. So those intercostal muscles, the muscles that help you twist and turn, lean side to side. If you have low back pain, this is the practice for you. Doing side body work uh, can be so soothing and relaxing for the low back, really release tension in that area. So if that's you, uh, you will benefit from the practice today. There are no props required for the practice. You can also feel free to do this one in bed. Uh, I hope you enjoy it and I will see you on the mat. Starting today in a comfortable seat, let's bring the left shin in front of the right. Walking your feet a little bit forward and a little bit wide so that it feels like an awkward seated position. You just want to make sure that you're not sitting on your heels. From here, just bringing your hands to lightly rest on your knees, nice tall spine. And we're just going to drop the left ear to the left shoulder. And from here, draw the chin towards the chest. Bringing the right ear to the right shoulder. Doing that one more time. Chin to chest, left ear, left shoulder. Making sure that you're not drawing your chin in towards your neck, keeping the chin elevated. Let's drop the chin to the chest and bring the right ear to the right shoulder. Bringing the head back up nice and tall. And from here, we'll take a few shoulder rolls. So drawing the shoulders up towards the ears and down and away up towards the ears. And as you draw them up, really squeeze them nice and tight and feel that nice release on the drop. One more in this direction. And let it go. Drawing the shoulders up towards the ears, forward and down. And one more here. From here, inhale. And exhale, walking your hands forward and down. You can let the head go or keep the gaze lifted. Gently lift the gaze, walk all 10 fingertips over towards the left, really trying to draw that right rib cage over the left knee. And walking all 10 fingertips over towards the right. Next inhale, lift the gaze. 
bringing your right forearm down to the floor, or you can stay up on your palm, totally up to you. You're gonna reach up and over to the right with your left fingertips. And as you do so, you're pushing your right palm towards the top of the mat, side of the mat. Drawing your left hip towards the floor. For three. For two. And one. Gently rise all the way up. We're going to swing that right leg behind us. So the right leg comes parallel to the, the side of your mat or the back edge of your mat, depending on which way you're facing. Let's take the arms up, inhale, interlace your fingers. And exhale, round, chin to chest. So we're taking cat cow in a deer position. Inhale, rise up. And exhale. Two more, inhale. And exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Gently release, sprinkle your fingertips beside you. Let's reach that left arm back over towards the right. Feel a nice stretch in the left side body and then reach to the left. Inhale, reach to the right. And to the left. One more time, each side, inhale. And exhale. From here, we're gonna bring the left forearm right to the floor, rotate, bringing the torso and the chest to face the mat, bringing your right forearm to the floor for twisted deer. And as you're here, think about pulling the skin of the elbows back to draw the chest forward and through. Gently rise all the way up, extending that right leg out to the side and drawing the left foot in towards the groin. Inhale to turn and line your sternum up with your right big toe. And on the exhale, fold down over that right leg. Inhale to rise and exhale. Sprinkle your left fingertips behind you. Push your hips up and sweep the right arm back for three for two and one. Gently bringing your seat back down to the floor. And we'll switch the crossing of our shins. So bringing the right shin in front to the left, walking our feet forward and wide. Inhale to lengthen here. And exhale to fold over those shins, keeping the gaze lifted or dropping the gaze.
So we'll call 10 fingertips over towards the right. And to the left. Next, inhale, lift the gaze as you bring the left forearm to the floor. Spread those fingertips nice and wide and push your left palm away from you. Reach up and over to the left with your right fingertips as you draw your left hip towards the floor. For three. For two, trying to open up the chest towards the ceiling. And one. Gently rise all the way back up. We're gonna unravel that left leg and swing it out behind us. Finding deer position here. Inhale the arms to come up, interlace the fingers. And exhale, round chin to chest. So you're tucking your tailbone under. And when you do this, you should feel a gentle pull in the groin of the left hip. Inhale, and exhale round. Three more, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Gently sprinkling your fingertips beside you. We'll flow side to side. So grounding down through the right palm, reach the left arm up, inhale. And exhale, switch. Inhale. And exhale. Two more. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Let's do one more here. Inhale as we bring that right arm to the floor. Reach up and over with the left. Reach, 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 reach. From here, bringing that right forearm to the floor as we twist. So bringing the chest and the torso to face the floor, bringing the left forearm to the floor. And again, think about drawing the chest through, so pulling the elbows back, finding length. Let's take a nice big inhale. And sigh it out. Very gently push up onto your palms. We're going to extend that left leg out to the side as we draw the right foot in towards the groin. Inhale to lengthen up here. And exhale, lining your sternum up with your left big toe as you fold over that left leg. 
and I'm taking my right hand to the outside of my left leg just to help me twist a little bit deeper. Next inhale, rise. Sprinkling your right fingertips behind you, push down into your left heel, right shin, and sweep the left arm up and back for three. For two. And one. Gently lowering your seat to the floor. Extending both legs out now in front of you. Inhale here, digging your heels into the floor, lifting the kneecaps, legs are nice and active. And exhale, folding forward any amount. Next inhale, gently rise. Close the legs, swing the legs down the length of your mat. And let's lower all the way down onto our backs. With both knees bent, let's extend the left leg straight down onto the mat, bend the right knee in towards the chest. And rotate the ankle here. Let's bend the left knee, cross the right knee all the way over. Push down into your elbows, pick up your hips, swing your hips to the right and set them back down as you cactus the arms and drop the knees. Gently from here, push down into your left foot to help draw the shape all the way back up. Uncross the right knee. Maybe readjust the hips. Doing this on the other side. So extend the right leg straight down onto the mat. Bend the left knee in towards the chest. Interlace your fingers around the left kneecap. Wiggling the toes, rotating the ankles. From here, bend the right knee, bring the sole of the right foot to the floor, cross the left knee all the way over the right, cactus the arms, Push down into your right foot, pick up your hips and swing them to the left and set them down. As you draw the knees in and down and over to the right. Feeling free to place your right hand on top of the left knee. That feels good.
pushing your weight down into your right foot to help draw the shape all the way back up. Uncross the knees. Readjust the hips. We'll take double wind relieving pose from here. So drawing the knees in towards the chest. Wrap your arms around your knees. Feel your thighs compress up against your belly. You can stay here or lift the head, neck, and shoulders. We're going to squeeze nice and tight for three. For two. Let's take a nice big inhale. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And exhale. Release. Finding your Shavasana. I'm going to bring the soles of my feet to touch today for a reclined butterfly. And from here, I'm bringing both arms up, palms face one another. Then I turn the palms away from each other, bring my hands down by my side, bend at the elbows, and draw my hands underneath my back. So the higher up your back, the more of a stretch you feel in the arms. So if you had your hands underneath or behind you, gently release. Slowly inviting little flickers of movement back into the body, wiggling the fingers, the toes, rotating the ankles, the wrists. Let's take our arms up overhead for a nice long body stretch. Reach, 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 reach. And on the exhale, let it go. Bend the knees one by one, rolling over onto your side. You can cradle the head in the upper arm. Very gently pushing down into your palms to push yourself all the way up to a seat. So with your eyes closed, suddenly bow your chin in towards your chest. Nice tall spine. We'll take one cleansing breath here. Nice big inhale. Open the mouth and sigh it out. Gently opening the eyes. I hope you enjoyed today's seated flow. I hope your side body is feeling open and that you're ready to tackle the day's activities. If you did enjoy it, please remember to like, subscribe, share it with friends and family, leave me a comment, let me know how you got on, and I will see you back here again soon for day eight in our Spring Into Movement series. Mm -hmm.